Didik TV KPM You are now watching Level 2 on Didik TV KPM Our subject for today is Science DLP Year 6 So, Teacher Nina, mm -hmm. what will we be learning now? Okay, now we are going to look at six extinct animals, mm -hmm. just like in the Science Year 6 textbook. But of course, there are a lot more. But just these six, you need to know them by heart. Oh. You need to know how they look and why they became extinct. Okay, okay let's start. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the six animals that you should know. Okay, oh. the first one is a saber-toothed tiger. Mm. Okay, saber-toothed tiger. Mm -hmm. The difference between saber-toothed tiger and uh, the tigers that we have now is that they have uh, these saber-toothed tigers they had a really long canine teeth ah uh, it's okay. really long and yep. sharp okay um next one is oops mammoth mm -hmm. uh, okay that's how a mammoth looks like mm -hmm. and also dinosaurs of course everyone knows dinosaur yes and then quagga if you look at the quagga mm -hmm. it looks like a hybrid like Half of it, the front part is like a zebra, yes. and the hind part is like a horse. Oh right? yes, that's yeah. right. Yeah. But they are now extinct. We will never find them alive oh, anymore no. on Earth. That's really sad, right? Mm -hmm. And then we also have Tasmanian wolf. Mm -hmm. The frontal part looks like a wolf, yep. but the hind part looks like uh, the stripes of a tiger. So sometimes this Tasmanian wolf is, uh, um, is also known as Tasmanian tiger. It's the same animal, actually. Okay. Ah. And last but not least is the dodo bird. Uh -huh. uh, if you look closely, the dodo bird's wings are really small. So it's actually a flightless bird. That means it cannot fly. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Similar like chickens, yeah? Oh, okay. But I, I think I saw some chickens fly. Oh, yeah. I've seen that as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, we have something for Abang Sean to do. Ooh. Let's look at the first one. Mm. Abang Sean, you need to mm. guess the name of this extinct animal. Mm -hmm. Okay, it resemble. Uh, I have uh, written the clues there. It okay. resemble elephants mm -hmm. and existed during Ice Age. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's a very good okay. tip. Okay. It became extinct due to extreme weather change and was hunted by humans. Oh no. Ah, if you look closely, it mm -hmm. looks like elephant, but its tusks are really long. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And curvier. And look at the body. It is like uh, it's not really straight. The yeah. backbone of um, this animal mm -hmm. is not straight as the elephant. So, and one more thing. Yes. Look at its hair. Ah, uh, very furry. Long. Or yes, mm. it's a bit long. So, what is hmm. the name of this extinct animal, Abang Sean? Let's see. I think uh, my friends who are, worked, who are watching right now can also make a guess. Since the biggest tip that I can see that is it resembles an elephant. So, I guess this is a mammoth. Let's find out. Okay. Yay! Yay! You are absolutely <laughs> right. Okay. Next one. Okay. Uh, okay. What about this? It hmm. resembled a hybrid of a horse and a zebra. Okay. It was hunted for its skin and meat hmm. until it became extinct. Hmm, uh -huh. okay. You mentioned this earlier. So the front part looks like a zebra, the mm -hmm. back looks like a horse. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it is a quagga. Quagga? A quagga. Are you sure that's the how you pronounce it? Quagga or quagga? A, a, <laughs> okay, it's, okay, it's correct, Abang Sean. It's quagga. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, next one. Mm. Okay. This is a type of a flightless bird mm -hmm. found in Mauritius. Mauritius is a really small island um, in Africa. Okay. And it became extinct due to excessive hunting by sailors. Ah, uh, while right. their eggs were eaten by rats and cats. Oh. So that's really sad. Mm -hmm. So what is the name of this bird? Okay. It's a bird. All right. So I think among the photos that you showed me mm -hmm. earlier, this is the only bird. Mm -hmm. And the name also has well, the word bird in it. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not mistaken, this is a dodo bird. Dodo or Didi? Oh, oh. <laughs> dodo bird. Yes, dodo bird. you are right, Abang Sean. It's dodo yeah. bird. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next one. Mm. Ah. This one, it has a, uh, it had a very long canine teeth. Okay. okay. 
uh, up to 30 centimeters wow, long. Wow, that's, that's pretty, pretty long. long 30 yeah. centimeters. Yeah. Just like your long ruler. It lived during the Ice Age, just like the mammoth, and mm -hmm. became extinct due to extreme weather change. Hmm. What is the name of this animal? Okay, it looks like a tiger mm -hmm. and it has it long canine teeth. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not mistaken, this is the saber tooth tiger. Ah, saber tooth tiger. Or is it a saber tooth are... lion? No, saber tooth tiger. <laughs> saber tooth tiger. Yes, you are right, Alban Shaw. Yay! Okay. Saber tooth tiger. And the next one, ah, this is really simple. Mm -hmm. It's a reptile that dominated the land for over 140 million years. Mm -hmm. And the biggest size uh, that we found was 26 meters long. Wow. And the smallest one are like chicken sized. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. So it became extinct due to extreme weather change. Mm -hmm. So what is this animal? I think it is a mm -hmm. dinosaur. Mm -hmm. oh, of course, this is yeah. so easy. Yeah. Yes, it's a dinosaur. That's okay. Right. Last but not least. Okay. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this is also called a Tasmanian tiger. Oh. Ah, I want to know the other name for it okay. because of its striped lower lower back, mm -hmm. and it became extinct due to excessive hunting, loss of habitat, and epidemic diseases. Hmm, can you guess what the answer is? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I think I know what the answer is. Another name for Tasmanian tiger, they're also known as the Tasmanian wolf. Aha, Tasmanian wolf, yes oh. it is. Okay. <laughs> Just like a wolf. <laughs> Good job, Abang Sean. Okay, now I have something for you to do, Abang okay. Sean. Yes. Look in front of you, there is a scrapbook. Oh, wow. Ah, okay, oops, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it is almost complete, yeah. but I left something for you to do. I have one too, this is a smaller version. Ah. Okay, this um, uh, this is a scrapbook whereby wow. I can, you can see it's it's popping up. Okay. Uh, okay. So mine is a little bit small and it doesn't have any um, um, information on it. Okay. So I uh, see. Ah, okay. Abang Sean, yours? Mine also has a pop up uh, uh -huh. feature as well. See, and this is bigger. A yeah. Ah, wow. Okay. If you want to know that. how to make this pop up, it's really easy. Okay, uh, you can if you can focus here, just make a triangle mm -hmm. uh, on the bone of this uh, of your scrapbook. Okay, and you can just paste the pictures uh, front and back. Ah, and then you can add in any information. Okay, uh, just like that. So, Abang Sean, um, I think you should show mm -hmm. um, the the kids at home how okay. to do. All right. Okay. I have uh, mm -hmm. done the f um, the first one for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think you can put down your. Um, your scrapbook. Okay, I'll put it I'll down. Turn it to the first page. To the first page. Okay, the first page is not done yet. Ah, that's ah, right. It's okay. empty. It's empty. Mm -hmm. So there you have um, the saber tooth tiger. Yes. Okay, I have put um, some uh, double sided tape underneath okay. it. Okay. Yeah, on both sides, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Actually, you can uh, um, flip it. Mm -hmm. It will become uh, a triangle. Can ah, you show? Okay, so if I do it like this. Flip the bottom part. The bottom part as well. Aha. Ah, so that is how Ooh. you paste it. Aha, so remember, yeah. to do this, you need to put the glue or the double-sided tape mm -hmm. on the same side as the picture. So uh, Abang Sean, you can okay. take off uh, the... The double-sided tape. Yes, so take here. it off. Very okay. Remove this on one side and, and also side. on the other side. So okay. you said, uh, like teacher Nina mentioned, it has to be on the same side. Same side as the picture. Okay, okay. so now this is the most important part. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, how are you going to do it? Can I hold it for you? Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. So this would be um, the bone of uh, the, the book. Mm -hmm. So you need to place it just right here. Okay, okay. Abang Sean, mm -hmm. just place it. Uh, okay, so I'll just place it like just this. Just put yeah? it like that. Uh, okay. Like this, correct? Um, or oh, yes. This uh, yes. In front of it. Okay, okay, here. So here. All right. Okay. okay, just one part. Okay. And then you just leave it like that. Oh. Yes. Okay. And you close it. Just close it? Yep. Oh. Close it. And then when you open, <gasps> it will stand oh, up. Wow. It will pop up. Automatically uh, pops up just yeah, like that. Just like that. See? Ah. Isn't it easy? Ah. So mm -hmm. then um, to complete your scrapbook, Abang Sean, yes. remember we have uh, this 
uh, information about these animals. Mm -hmm. So now you need to paste it. Okay. okay. So let's find out about uh, saber tooth tiger. What okay. do you remember about saber tooth tiger? Okay, from this, uh -huh. I remember they have really long canine teeth. Uh huh. They okay. Got, uh, they were extinct due to extreme weather change. Yeah. They look like a tiger. So uh -huh. let me just see which one it is. Okay, which one? Uh, this one. Yes. Yes. So just put on yeah. some glue. Okay. And you just paste, paste it the information. In front, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I have some glue. And just oops, I'm just gonna paste it here. Oh wait, I gotta open this yeah, first. Okay. You know, making scrapbook is really, really fun because I know nowadays uh, pupils like to do it digitally, like making uh, slides. But sometimes I think when we do scrapbook, you use your fingers and you cut pictures and you find pictures, you will actually um, hone your skills on uh, making things um, in like crafty way you can make things really nice and beautiful just like that yay yeah ah okay so you can continue with okay. the other animals mm -hmm. Ah, okay. okay, number two is Tasmanian wolf. Tasmanian wolf. What do you remember about Tasmanian wolf? Let's okay, so try and see Tasmanian if wolf. Abang Sean remember. Front part looks like a wolf, back part looks like a zebra. Uh, oh. Also known as a Tasmanian tiger. So let me see if I can mm -hmm, find it. Mm -hmm. Aha! This is the one! Yay! Alright. Okay. I'm just showing it to everyone. Is this correct? Oh, yes, of you are right. <laughs> so you must place? be really sure you are right because once you have pasted it, <laughs> uh, if it's wrong, if it's not right, and then you must do some amendments. To oh it. no! It's okay if you make mistakes. People do that sometimes, That's but true. it is how you overcome it. Ah. Okay, right. so this is the one here already nicely. Um, Abashan, I think you can show the upper part oh, of this it. Oh, upper I part have, as well. Uh, oh, yes, look. information on that. Yeah, there's a that, map up here. Yes, where Tasmanian wolves were found before. Oh. Uh -huh. Which part of um, on Earth that we could find uh, Tasmanian wolf before it's, it extinct. Ah, That's right. So okay. here, based on the map, you can see where its location is. Mm -hmm. You can see the Tasmanian wolf up here. Mm -hmm. You can see that. And you know yeah. where is Tasmania? It's on the southern part. Uh, it's a, it's it's actually a small island mm -hmm. on the south southeast part of Australia. Ah, ah all right. Okay. So that's the next one. The, the next, next one. We have one. A ah, mammoth. Mammoth. So what do you this remember? This one here resembles an elephant, but mm -hmm. of course uh, this was during the Ice Age. Yes, Ice yeah? Age. And uh, it became extinct due to. Uh, extreme weather change and of course was hunted by humans. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe because it cannot move really fast, it moves That's slowly, right. so it can be hunted easily That's by humans. That's true. I think because of its really large size, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm just place this here. Oh. Yay. I'm really excited because this scrapbook is almost complete. That's Thank right. you, Abanshan. So check this out. Yes. Look at this. So at the top again, we have the map. Mm -hmm. And we got the pop-up in the middle. And then it's information regarding yes. uh, this extinct animal. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, Sean, you can also decorate your um, scrapbook with mm -hmm. stickers, nice stickers, yeah. and also washi tapes. It's up to you, your creativity. Yeah, I'll probably add that later, but let's complete this okay. one here. Okay, so three we more, also have, come on. Ah, the dinosaur. Oh, okay. Very easy stuff. It's a reptile, uh -huh. and um, it got extinct due to extreme weather change. Mm -hmm. I think it's this one over here. Ooh. This uh, one? Okay. Is that right? This reptile dominate, uh, dominated the land for over 140 mm -hmm. million years. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's just stick this real fast. Mm -hmm. And here. Yay! Nice job, Abang Sean. Ah. Nice, right? I'm Ooh. so sorry. <clears throat> okay. I got a bit excited. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> and the next one 
Ooh, a quagga. Quagga. Okay, quagga is something like a zebra in the front, mm -hmm. back like a horse. Aha. Uh -huh. And. Yay, you got that right. Mm -hmm. Well done, Abang Sean. Okay, and let's stick this. Okay. Really quick and nice. Again, we have the information here and at the top, Ooh, oh, nice. top is slightly different here. Mm -hmm. Not only shows a map, but also some kind of a diagram. Uh -huh. Like uh, different types of horses, uh, zebras, horses and also quagga and where they can be found. Okay. All right. And I think we're moving on to the final one, which uh -huh. is a dodo, dodo bird. bird. Okay. Uh -huh. So this is a dodo bird and okay. I think this is the one... Uh, yep. that you mentioned earlier, a flightless bird found mm -hmm. in Mauritius. Okay, and I'm going to stick this right now and I'm just going to show to everyone how it is or how it will look like. I think we're almost complete. Yay! Here and there we go! Look Yay. at that! So now we have a completed scrapbook of extinct animals and actually you can add more if you want you can find uh, more information you can just find it from the internet or mm -hmm. encyclopedias or you can find from books from magazines yeah. you can do a little bit of exploration oh isn't that nice look at that so interesting yeah. and uh, because i've already completed all this mm -hmm. do i get any rewards of course abang sean you will get three stars for this wow, yeah three stars and for those of you who are guests at home as well mm -hmm. i got it right i believe do they get stars as well oh they will if they do like abang sean Mm -hmm. and you show it to your teacher and present it to your classmates. That's right. Well mm -hmm. done, everyone. And right now, we're going to take a short break. Back to you after this on Did It TV KPM.